Hi folks, it's Yuri from Pulse Sensor. It's pretty easy to hook up the Pulse Sensor to different 3 volt and 5 volt platforms like the Microbit and Arduino respectively. But let's see what happens when we hook up the Pulse Sensor to a multimeter. This is a project that you can try at home. I'm using my Retro Radio Shack multimeter. To power the Pulse Sensor, I'm simply using two AAA batteries. In fact, the same battery pack that powers my Microbit. Hook up the pulse sensor's black and red cables, its ground and power, to the black and red ground and power cables on the battery pack. That's enough to power on and power off the device. Here I connected my multimeter ground electrode to the ground wires of the circuit. The signal in the pulse sensor actually comes from the purple cable. The multimeter's input power electrode will monitor the purple cable on the pulse sensor. I've set my multimeter to listen to direct current voltage between 0 and 10. Here comes the good part. Put the pulse sensor on your finger and you'll see that your pulse is moving the needle. This cool little device shoots green light into your finger and sees how much reflects back. In this example, where we are powering the pulse sensor with 3 volts, the needle oscillates around 1.5 volts. The pulse sensor puts out a voltage that's oscillating around half of the voltage in that you give the pulse sensor. Try it on different fingers just to compare and contrast how strong the signal is at different places. Using a multimeter can be a fun and easy way to interact with your pulse. Thanks for watching.